Right, let me go to the single best chart right now on Catherine Mann and this trade deficit. We all know this, the gloom of the trade deficit. Carl Riccadonna knows this chart as well. Down we go from the 90s, and then we get into the sustained pattern. Carl Riccadonna, a lot of critics would say this trade deficit is bad and impinges on jobs formation. Does it? Well, there's uh, obviously some uh, flight of jobs outside of the U.S., but uh, there's a lot of uh, multinational companies that uh, benefit from a, a more globalized uh, world. Uh, but what uh, even, even later this morning, we have uh, trade data coming up alongside the jobs report, uh, and I think there's a real risk that, uh, at least uh, what I've been hearing anecdotally, is that a lot of uh, foreign producers are rushing to get their products in the U.S. before the Trump administration turns to trade policy more forcefully in 2018. So watch for a big pickup in imports that could be related are to we, that, Carl, that rush. Honor, are we fully employed in America? Because the agony of this linked into the trade deficit is part of America is fully employed, but there's a huge body that's not. Is that where we are? Well, we're close to full employment, but we can't say we're at full employment until we start to see wage pressures uh, trend higher more appreciably. Uh, that's not been the case, and that tells us that full employment in the current cycle is lower uh, than where it has been in prior cycles, as it is low as 4.1 percent, uh, where we are on the unemployment rate now, maybe not, uh, but uh, it, it's, uh, I think, less far uh, from 4.1 percent than a lot of economists uh, believed, especially going into the last couple You're of years. You're squirming over here on the gloom of the trade deficit, the budget deficit, and jobs. Are they actually linked? The trade deficit, or the current account deficit, same in the short run, really, simply means that capital expenditure exceeds domestic saving. If anything, that's good for jobs. Right? Uh, I would like the U.S. to save more at full employment, but uh, to worry about the trade deficit because of those two jobs is, I think, economic illiteracy.